today is the day. Head to North Carolina in a few minutes. Got some stuff in the dryer. You know how girls have to wait till the last minute to pack everything. But anyway, I'm really excited about getting out of town and getting in the woods a little bit. And uh, this area is really where I fell in love with the outdoors and decided that I would hike the Appalachian Trail. I'm going to Cashers, North Carolina, Cashers, Glenville area. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited, really excited to get back there post AT hike and you know kind of see how I feel about everything. But anyway, let's see what kind of fun I can get into this weekend. North Carolina, here I come. Boom. That's a view that'll wow your socks off. <laughs> so I made it here to the cabin last night at about midnight, I think, maybe. Stopped for dinner on the way. But I'm finally here. Going to hike Whiteside in a little while and maybe check out some waterfalls. But this is the deck of a cabin. I actually went to school here in the third grade um, in this area. Unfortunately, priceless. But um, anyway, this is, yeah, this is a place I've been coming since I was a little bitty girl. And uh, man, it feels good to be back here. Breakfast of Champions right there. Gotta have some energy to go hiking. You when you don't have a hair tie, <laughs> you use a zip, a zip tie. <laughs> First stop, White Side Mountain. One of my favorite places to hike. White Side Mountain is the hiking trail it is a two mile loop and it is six miles northwest of Highlands on US 64. So if you end up liking what you see and you're in the area, you should come check it out. So for those of you who don't know, when you see this, it's rhododendron, oh lord. It's rhododendron, it looks kind of like magnolia, but bigger than mountain laurel. This is like one of my favorite places in the world. You can see Brandon as a scale of how vast this area is. Crazy, this is off a little side piece, right after it quits getting steep and before you get up on the ridge and the summit, um, you'll find this little cutoff to come out here and it is not disappointing. A little nerve wracking today because it's slick from the water, but so pretty, not very windy, just awesome. Okay, so here's something you can try if you wanna freak yourself out. Uh, when I get out on ledges like this, not close to the ledge by any means, but just big open areas like this, it's fun to look straight up at the sky and not look at anything else. It's kind of hard for me, but I don't know if it, it's that way for everybody. Is it hard for you? Back towards the... Yeah, that's not as bad to me, and actually. Kind of flattened down here. Yeah, but Flat okay. Down. So flipping around this way and looking towards the openness and then like just, oh, I can't hardly do it. Looking straight up and not touching anything. Not, well, not, oh yeah, it breaks me up. <laughs> that breaks me up. Brandon can do it like a champ, go. Yeah, he doesn't like it's nothing. I think maybe because you do it fast. Go slow. Is that scarier? No. Okay, it's just me then. I'm not really afraid of heights, but oh, I just I can't do it. I can't do it. Kind of starts swaying, so. I do, or in general, people do. Go ahead, just try. It. Oh, I don't like it. Someday I'm gonna sit on that little ledge right there. I'm sat close. Someday I'm gonna sit there like a champ. Here you can see some pretty views. So far this trail has looked a lot like this. Not real wide, but very beaten, cleared out, well traveled. We saw a little snow in the parking lot, some ice coming up, but so far nothing. beautiful. thought I'd eat another one of these, but I'm actually eating a bar. Pomegranate blueberry pistachio. Come on, folks, you know better than throwing a dirty diaper out here in the woods. Pack it out. Leave no trace. Some ice. It's that big old hunk on the side of the rock there. And hanging from the bush there.
this sign here talks about a rescue from back in the early 1900s when a man fell um you go down this crevice over here and there's what's called fool's rock you can kind of see it over there but he fell down from there 30 feet and was caught in some rhododendron and um on a very small little piece of rock sticking out so anyway go walk down there and see but uh this man here charles rat um saved him like pushed him up 30 feet all right so you go down this here crevice okay so anyway after you go through the crevice here is you go a little bit further yeah we're gonna go down there probably shouldn't but we are it's so up there is where we were no, going down in here. Woo! Thank you, friend. And oh my goodness. So down there is, I assume, where he was. Somewhere in all that mess. That's crazy. Um, the high point of Whiteside, I didn't share with y'all, is 4,930 feet, just so you know. Um, so you do get up over 4,000. Um, but anyway, yeah, when you head back this way, it's a loop. So if you go up the stairs to start with, um, you get the steep part going uphill. Um, and then this nice wide section going downhill. So that's the way I like to go counterclockwise. All right, that's the end. But now we are heading to Dry Falls and Bridalville. Alright, stop two for the day, Bridal Vale Falls. Used to be able to drive behind it, but they've got it closed now. That pretty waterfall. This is also right here off of US 64. Woo! <laughs> Could have brought a raincoat. Awesome. And the other side. So there's some kind of Cherokee legend with these falls here. That's why it's named Bridal Veil Falls. There's something about if a maiden walked through here in the fall, then by the spring she would be married or something to that extent. But there's something historical with it, which is why it is named Bridal Veil Falls. But y'all can look it up and see exactly what that is. I just remember something like that. All right, so stop number three for the day. We are at Dry Falls, heading down to the falls. Nice little walking path to get down here to the falls. And this again is also on US 64. And uh, so anyway, there's the river down there. Whoa! First sighting of the falls. So back at the cabin after a long, fun, adventurous day and making some homemade soup for dinner. 
It's awesome after a cold day, especially after walking behind dry falls. Man, that's when I really got chilled. Anyway, yummy. Well, that's it for today. Day number two coming up. Okay, so I am here at Amicalola uh, State Park and I am about to hike the approach trail. Uh, just weighed my pack in and signed the registration.